I give an overview of antibody-based immunotherapy in AML, talking about the challenge of um, identifying a suitable target antigen and then addressing the different immunotherapy platforms. So talking about conventional antibody constructs, antibody drug conjugates, about T-cell recruiting antibody constructs relying on the targeting of surface antigen, but also intracellular antigens, and then also briefly um, addressing the topic of immune modulatory um, antibodies that on the one hand serve the checkpoint molecules as target antigens, but also unleash endogenous um, T-cell responses. So the huge challenge in AML is still the target antigen, and um, it has to be expressed on bulk cells, on leukemic stem cells, and to a much lesser extent on the healthy hematopoietic system. And there are a lot of different target antigens that are currently being followed in various clinical trials, and one can sort of sum up that so far we have not identified a target antigen that is restricted to AML. So almost all target antigens are lineage antigens, and we are looking for the therapeutic window, depending on the antigen, on the epitope, affinity, membrane proximity, and also clearly it also depends on the antibody platform we are um, employing. And that's actually not different from all the B-cell neoplasia. So also CD19 is a lineage antigen. So the question is still out. We don't know what is the best suitable target antigen, and none of the target antigen is leukemia-specific. So in all these trials, we're looking for the therapeutic window. And if you look at the different antibody platforms, we have the conventional antibodies and FC-optimized um, conventional antibody constructs. And so far, no clinical trial has shown any benefit um, with these antibody constructs. So um, no conventional antibody has shown a benefit in um, relapse-free or overall survival in AML. One of the conventional antibody constructs, lentuzumab, directed against CD33, has evolved to gemtuzumab the only approved antibody construct we have in AML. So it's an antibody drug conjugate, um, a toxin conjugated lentuzumab, and as you're all aware, has been reapproved um, for um, a newly diagnosed AML in conjunction with chemotherapy with particularly benefit in the favorable and intermediate genetic risk profile. And then we have the different immune modulatory antibody constructs, the checkpoint molecules. And there one can say monotherapy has shown no benefit so far. So most of the trials that are currently running and the trial that already has been published from the MD Anderson, from Navel Deva, has shown that the combination of nivolumab with azacytidine has shown um, a better overall survival than the historical control. And this was particularly true in salvage one patients where the median overall survival was 10.5 months compared to 4.5 months in the historical control. And I think very interestingly, and that's where we have to go, that biomarkers were identified that predicted um, a higher likelihood to respond. So with an increase in CD3 and CD8 T cells in the bone marrow. So having sort of an inflamed bone marrow was predictive of response. And there are a lot of clinical trials running addressing the different checkpoint molecules. But one has to say that there has been a randomized trial now with um, AZA plus minus um, duvalumab and the did not show any difference. And this might be due to the fact that this um, molecule is addressing PDL1 and not PD1. So for the checkpoint molecules, one can say at this time point, monotherapy has shown no benefit. The combination with hypermethylating agents has shown promising results. Trials are still ongoing with different um, so far reported outcome. And I think very interestingly, we have novel checkpoints uh, which um, first data was presented last ash. One of these is C47, an innate checkpoint molecule that through interaction with SERP-alpha blocks 
the don't eat me signal. And there has been very encouraging results in MDS and AML, small patient numbers, 24, 25 patients um, treated. But in first line, so that's the difference now, um, there was a response of over 90% in MDS and over 60% in the AML setting. And there's already now a randomized trial running in the MDS setting. And interestingly, in the AML a patient cohort, there were nine patients with P53 mutation. And these patients, seven of these responded. So there will be a trial um, with focus on P53 mutated AML and the combination. And the other checkpoint molecule, which I think is very interesting, is CD70. This is still earlier data, also presented last ASH, where 10 out of 12 patients in conjunction with ASA showed the clinical benefit. So I think these are two sort of more novel um, target antigens where the reports so far look very promising and interesting. But um, the question on checkpoint molecules is still out. And I just want to finish by highlighting in this aspect that there have been a severe um, adverse immune-related adverse events. So checkpoint inhibitors and AMLs belong to very experienced hands and there have been promonitis and fatalities reported. So it's clearly a different scenario than in solid oncology and has to be um, looked at.